All right, guys, we're back in the shop. We've got our LSA kit from Boost District here. We're gonna go through and show you what comes with a complete kit. Uh, they can help you with anything you need as far as supercharging an LS or LT engine for a GM vehicle. So uh, big shout out to them and let's get started. So first, the main thing is the, the supercharger itself. And this is a brand new GM uh, LSA supercharger, never been used. Uh, this snout goes on the front here. This is a ZL1 lid come off of a Camaro. The CTSV Cadillac lids look a little different. They're shaped a little differently. The water inlets for the Cadillac are in the back. So it's kind of, some people say the ZL1 lid flows a little better air and it looks a little different. I kind of like the looks of the ZL1, the Camaro lid over the Cadillac lid. Um, I'm gonna try to lift this up. I kind of have it apart. We're about ready to install it, but you can see the rotors in there. Um, now these come with all the sensors you need. Uh, they're brand new, ready to go. I've got the snout off of the front because we upgraded to the solid isolator. This is the old style with a spring. You can hear that racket and sound it can make. Whereas these are less problems with these and are more robust. Uh, so we got the solid isolator. And while it was off, I went ahead and pressed on a new pulley. Boost District can press these on and install all this for you. I don't, I just did it after I bought it. But we pressed on this Grip Tech smaller 2.45 pulley just to get a little more PSI out of this thing. Um, Got to finish cleaning off the RTV and get all of this installed back, but these LSA come with these coolant brick that get mounted inside here. That's what these are, these fittings are for is for this. Uh, I sent this off to Dedicated Motorsports and they braced and uh, reinforce the tank here. That's kind of a known weak spot on these. If you turn up the boost at all, they'll warp and start leaking. So they weld in some metal there and brace them up. They also clean them and check them for leaks or anything. So while it's apart and not installed, it's, it's just better to do that. Got that reinforced. Uh, comes with all the lines you need. This is for the brake booster. I think it goes on here. But, somewhere like that, up to your brake booster, uh, fuel line extensions, harness extensions, uh, map sensor and intake air temperature sensors and stuff. You don't have to splice or cut anything on the harness, which is nice. Um, all the hardware you need. Uh, and then moving over here, this is the belt drive, the tensioner and all the pulleys and brackets, the, the kit that I bought came with that, the hardware. As you can see, the LSA uses its own separate belt drive, so you need a three belt crank pulley. You still gotta get that installed. And I recommend pinning the crank if you're gonna be doing that, just to give it a little more strength there. All the gaskets you need, these are for the uh, supercharger. And then this, this is for the uh, coolant for the supercharger come with a reservoir, uh, electric pump for the coolant to pump it through there. And as you can see on the car, I've already got the heat exchanger, which is a low temperature radiator, which all that coolant goes through there. And then back to the reservoir and through the, the supercharger, but still have to plumb and wire that part of the install. And I believe this is a LS9 fuel rail with the, the fuel inlet will be on the driver's side of the car, which I think that's where it's at now. Uh, we got some FIC 850 injectors. So that should give us plenty of fuel to supply for this LSA build. They also can supply you with uh, other parts for like trucks or if you got an LS engine with cathedral uh, heads and you need adapters for the LSA because the LSA is a uh, square, you know, a square point, 
heads. So you can hit up Boost District and they can help you with a lot of different things. They've got accessories, uh, all kind. You can buy bits and pieces. They can pulleys. They even do a little bit of motor work and stuff like that. But this is the complete kit I got from them. I uh, already got the heat exchanger mounted. It's a big shout out to them. This is nice, 100% all brand new. And I am looking forward to getting this installed. Can't wait to hear the cool sound that these LSA make. I am putting it on a Caprice 2013. It's a PPV, it's got a six liter. Uh, we still gotta come up with an air intake system as far as that goes, but uh, this is this is gonna be fun. I can't wait to get this going. All right, so that's the kit from Boost District. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button, uh, hit like, comment, all those things help the channel out, and stay tuned for this LSA build on this Caprice. It's gonna be exciting.